Trouble begins in Abia as IPOP tear down Nigerian flags from poles. Nigerian flags hosted in banks and other public institutions in Abia state were today teared down by IPOP in obedience to the order of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. The Biafran group had earlier in the week in a statement signed by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Pong, ordered that as from October 1st, Nigerian flags would no longer be allowed to flag in any public building in the South East, warning of their consequences in contravention of the order. The statement specifically warned banks to remove theirs by themselves, failure which the IPOP will be forced to remove them in our own way. In obedience to the order, banks and the states did not only remove Nigerian flags but any other banks hosted within their premises. In Umaya, the state capital, flags hosted on banks, road Umuaya and other places had disappeared by the time Daily Sun visited the areas. Reports from the commercial city of Abia and Aba presented the same scenario. Banks on the city were said to have removed Nigerian flags hosted on their buildings to avoid the wrath of IPOP, which had promised to remove the flags their own way if the banks refused. Similarly, the seat at home ordered by the group had totally compliance in the state. The streets of both Aba and Omaria were deserted as there were no human or vehicle movements. Banks and schools, understandable, were closed as the federal government had already declared today public holiday in commemoration of the country's 61st independence anniversary. However, markets and shops in the two cities, which normally open the business on days like this, were all closed out of fear of the unknown. You see, before this um, order, IPOP has given at least a month notice ahead. They have given a month notice ahead. So nobody will say that he or she is not informed. Nobody will say that he or she doesn't know about it. Nobody in any way will say he or she doesn't know. You understand? So that is why I, I was so surprised that despite all this, these people can still, can still, you know, be disobedient to IPOP's order. Let me tell you something. IPOP is a, um, uh, Biafran is a republic. Oh. Biafran is a republic and not a group. It, 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 uh, it's just that very stubbornness is what is still keeping them here in Nigeria. By this time, they're supposed to be in their own republic. They're supposed to be in their own republic. Do you understand? Yeah, they're supposed to be in their own republic. Do you know the, the number of countries that we have the Biafrans scattered everywhere? What if I tell you that the population of the Biafrans is more than the population of the ones that claim to be Nigerians? Yeah, very much more than. Very much more than. You see that? So that is why I will tell you emphatically that the Biafrans, they, they, they are intact in their decision. Whatever they decided to do, to make sure that everybody observe that very um, seat at home on Independence Day, I will tell you that they are very much right. Are we not the one saying that October first uh, is a uh, is a uh, is Independence Day? The same thing goes to the to the to the Biafrans. They have their own day. So if their own day is a uh, if the time for their own day comes, then we have to grant it to them because they deserve it. They deserve it. So why holding them? Why holding holding them back? Why? For what reason? Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. It is their right. Give it to them. 
give it to them. So um, that's I hope we are able to tear down any uh, Nigerian flag from the polls is something that I know that I know that is uh, that is confirmed. That is confirmed because they gave the instruction ahead of that very day, October 1st. So any company, institution, banks that disobeyed and they saw Apple pulling it away for them, it means that they are the cause and not IPOP. Because IPOP actually gave the instructions. They gave the instructions. Am I right? Yeah. So um to this end I will tell you that IPOP should is not at fault in any way. It is not your fault. You people should go after uh, uh, Nigerian government. You go after the Nigerian government. You should go after Buari himself, because he is the one who actually uh, make that to, to to occur. Okay. So my my dear viewers, I tell you that IPOP decision on this very issue is something that is sacrosanct. That is correct that is straightforward because they made the information they make they created the awareness before taking an action it's out of stubbornness stubbornness that made lots of Nigerians not to keep to ipop instruction maybe because worry has promised them that uh, they should go on that nothing is going to happen and all of that okay look at now what is happening is Bwari out to, 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 to save them? Is he out to save them? No. That's it. So, my dear viewers in the house, please let me hear from you to know what you have to say on this very issue. Please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.